no son of mine is going to waste his time learning about rocks from some God-denying atheist. You're going to Kentucky, and that's final. Fajita! Fajita! No, 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 no. What's that, Brad? Do you want to say something to the camera? Yeah, I do. My balls are enormous, <laughs> and free trade ruined America! Is it just you and your kid? Yeah. My wife, she's, um... Dead? A little. No one fucks Uncle Sam. Do you hear me, kid? Oh, Stan. Why, man? Too much to drink. I'll be there at 9 o'clock. How long were you in? Excuse me? I don't ploy coy with me, young man. Ain't nobody ever walked along that road who didn't just get out of the big house. Six and a half billion dead worldwide. If you're doing the math, that is almost 90% of the human race. As you can imagine, everything is bedlam right now. Everywhere. Alright. You want to hear a fucking story? I'll tell you a story. I'll tell you a story about the greatest man I've ever known. Staff Sergeant Mitchell. Now, when I was in the Army, I was a combat engineer. I was a demolition and ordnance specialist. I call them sappers now. Anyway, um, our squad was dispatched to clear this artillery range because they wanted to use it for whatever the fuck they wanted to use it for. So we all got our coordinates and we set out with our sweepers and we were clearing the field. Well... Off to the right of me, there was an explosion. I mean, you could feel it. You could feel it in the ground. You could feel it in the air. It was, fuck. And I looked over, and there was fucking Sergeant Mitchell laying on the ground. Now, you know, I couldn't just run to him. I had to sweep my way to get to him, and that took a little while. And when I got there, he was full of holes. I mean, he had holes in him everywhere, and I... I tied him off with my belt, I used my boot laces, and of course the rest of the squad, they had to sweep a, a path for the ambulance. And I just stayed there with Sergeant Mitchell and I tried to comfort him and reassure him as best I could, and he just kept, he just kept looking at me, you know? Just looking at me. 
and then he smiled, he squeezed my hand, and he looked me in the eye, and then he died. You ever see any shit like that? You know, that just shows you just how close, how close reality is. Two inches from being a fucking caveman we are. Two fucking inches. I'm sorry. You gotta look that shit right in the eye. No fucking fear. No fear. I don't think I fucking want to talk to you guys anymore.